Hi everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we're looking at the new T10S subwoofer from Adam Audio. This is designed to complement the rest of the affordable T series, so the T5V and the T7V studio monitors. I reviewed these sevens about a year ago now. They've been in my home studio setup ever since, and I'm still very, very happy with them. But the thing is that adding a subwoofer to your monitoring setup, making effectively a 2.1 system, it's not quite as straightforward as you might think. Let's get into it. Berlin-based Adam Audio sent me the T10S a good few weeks ago now, which turned out to be rather useful. I've never used a sub in my home monitoring setup before, and so during the testing process, I learned a lot, not only about how the T10S performs, but about what exactly using a sub in your system can bring to the table. However, let's talk about the product itself first, before we get into a more general discussion on why or whether you might need one. The T10S is part of Adam's T-Series range, which is their most affordable offering, designed for home and small project studios. Street price is around about $400 in the US, and for your $400 you get a bottom-firing 10-inch driver with a 130-watt RMS amp built-in, offering a max SPL of 104 decibels. Construction is solid with no rattles or anything becoming apparent, however hard I've pushed it. The driver is paper, not fancy Kevlar or similar, but that's all good as it doesn't need to look pretty, just do its job. Overall, the design is very clean and imposing, a big black box with some nicely angled edges. The rear of the unit is where all the action is, with a large airport across the width of the top and your connections below. You have a choice of XLR inputs and outputs or RCAs running as you'd expect at plus 4 and minus 10 dBU respectively. For those unfamiliar with subwoofers or 2.1 systems in general, the reason you feed out to the main monitors via the sub is to make use of the internal crossover in the sub. You don't want your main speakers and the sub to be playing the same frequencies as each other. Unlike on some of Adam's higher end subs, you don't have a freely selectable cutoff. Instead, the T10S has three settings. 80 Hz for use with other T-Series monitors, that's also the THX standard, 120 Hz for use with very small near fields, and Bypass, which allows you to use an external crossover should you wish. There's also a volume control and a phase switch. This is a little complicated, but basically depending on its position, a sub can sometimes be out of phase with your main speakers. So you can switch the phase 180 degrees to negate that. Basically you'll find bases not optimum one way round and better the other in different positions, and the only way to find that out is by listening. But it's an important function for a sub to have. Two more things on the rear, an integrated universal power supply with an IEC connector, always my preference, and a jack socket for remote bypass, which bypasses both the sub itself and the crossover. This is important if, say, you can only pump out bass in your home studio at certain times of the day, or if you want to A-B a mix with the sub and without. It works with standard footswitch wiring, so you should be able to find a suitable one cheaply and easily. So we move on to the subject of why you might want to add a subwoofer to your setup and what some of the potential issues could be. I'm sure most of you watching this will be, like me, fans of big bass. It's super important when producing or mixing tracks, especially for the club, but bass is quite complicated from an audio perspective. The thing is, on paper, the T10S doesn't actually go a lot lower in frequency than regular near-field monitors with decent-sized woofers, like the T7Vs I reviewed. Those go down to 39Hz, and the T10S goes down to 28Hz. Not a huge difference. But by the same token, the T5Vs also go down to 45Hz, and I'm sure very few of you would expect tons of bass from a 5-inch driver. Note, when it comes to bass, bigger does equal more. Most of you watching this will be DJs, if not producers as well, and so you'll be familiar with the kind of differences bigger woofers will provide when it comes to low end. Most people will only want one sub. That's because in an enclosed space like a small studio, our ears can't discern where low frequencies below about 100 hertz are coming from. That's due to the long wavelength of the sound at those frequencies. So you'll be getting all the stereo imaging of your tracks from your main monitors, with only one sub required. You'll certainly need to spend a lot of time positioning the sub in the right place though, not from a stereo imaging point of view, but from a performance perspective. The big problem with bass is standing waves, whereby the sound waves reflect back towards the source from walls or other objects, and that can either muddy up or reduce the overall bass sound in different places in the room. The same applies to higher frequencies too, but that's comparatively easy to deal with using carefully placed acoustic foam. But to tame the low end, you need bass traps, which are much thicker and therefore more expensive to deal with those longer wavelengths. Plus, you might need special bass traps in the corners of your room, which can take up a lot of space. Now, 
this is not to say that such treatment won't be needed in a particular space when you aren't using a sub, but to make it clear that adding in a ton of extra bass to a room without first considering placement and acoustics could lead to problems. Which then begs the question, why bother? Well, set up properly in the right space, a sub like the T10S can add a whole lot to a system. Firstly, of course, it's really beneficial to be able to clearly discern what's going on in the low end of a track. In dance music and hip hop especially, you typically have a lot going on down there, and it's important to be able to separate elements like the kick and the bass, or you may have the main bass and sub bass as well. Are they clashing? Are they working harmonically together? Having a sub means you'll be a lot less reliant on things like frequency analyzers, being able to use your ears more instead. Secondly, there's also the danger that when you work just with small near field monitors, you might over crank the bass in order to get the kind of sound you want. Then when the track is played on a big system, it's just far too much. Having a sub in place means you're likely to be far more restrained with your mix downs, usually with better results. And finally, having a sub can take the pressure off your main monitors. Because of the 80 Hz crossover point on the T10S, that means the T7Vs are having an easier time of things because they no longer have to try and punch out that super low end. I actually found the clarity of the mids on them improved a little when using them with the sub. So yes, when set up correctly, a quality sub like the T10S really can make your main monitors sound better. And that's the whole point. You're not supposed to hear the sub. If it's working in harmony with your monitors, it can massively enhance what you already have. It's just that in some rooms, that's going to be a bit of a challenge to achieve. So there you go, my take on the T10S from Adam Audio. I hope by now it's clear that it's no reflection on this product when I say that adding a subwoofer to a studio monitor setup is not always gonna be a great idea. Some rooms, some spaces, it will be impossible to get a subwoofer in there and have it sounding good. Other rooms, other spaces, it's gonna to be too much investment of time and money in order to make it work. You know, you're gonna to have to spend so much on bass traps and other room treatment that it's just not gonna be economically sensible. You'd be much better off spending your money on a set of higher end studio monitors in the first place for your main near field setup and forget about the sub. But if you've gone down that route and you've decided that a subwoofer is gonna work in your space, it is what you need in your studio monitor setup, then the T10S is just an excellent choice. It's really good value. The construction is super solid all around. This thing is sat there pumping out bass for weeks now in my setup. Never once has it complained or made funny noises or caused problems. It's just sat there doing its job really well, even when I've pushed the volume perhaps at times more than I ought to, it's still come back strong. So overall, it's a thoroughly recommended product if you've decided that a subwoofer is the right direction for you to go in. That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Is a subwoofer right for me and my studio? If so, yeah, the T10S will not disappoint you. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.